Get ready to thrive loud with Lou Diamond. Hey, Thrive Loud fans, Lou Diamond here. If you are a regular listener to the program, you know that I love asking our guests when they have trouble thriving, who or what they turn to to get back on the thriving track. The responses always vary and show how unique, authentic, and inspiring our incredible guests really are. Back in 2017, I had the Phil M. Jones on the program. Phil is an amazing speaker, a brilliant thinker, and a personal friend. Check out how Phil answered what he turns to, which is a poem called If, one that he wrote at a moment in his life when he actually wasn't thriving. I'll even share that I've actually gone back and re-listened to it several times as a helpful reminder for me when I'm a little off my game. I'm hoping it'll help you as well. And Phil's got a new book coming out in October 2018 called Exactly Where to Start, which I believe will include this very poem. So sit back, relax, enjoy this mini-sode with Phil M. Jones. Thrive Loud. I guess where I go, and this is like, because I could give you an answer of people that I think are awesome, but I don't think that's the question you're asking them. Um, I probably go back to a version of myself, and I'm looking here right now, as you ask, next to me in my desk is a poem that I wrote. And it's a poem I wrote at a remarkably dark time in my life. Back in 2011, like, my life fell to pieces for a variety of different reasons with, like, personal stuff, with business stuff, and I was up and against it. You know, my house was about to get repossessed. You know, it wasn't a successful time. I just, you know, I I was successful in my business, but everything else was strained too far. I just pushed it too hard. You know, I I just pushed everything too hard. I was running out of money and, and thought I was superhuman and nearly died. So, I guess... Where I look to is I look to my darkest spots and I look for where the success leaves clues. I mean, I'd love to read the poem to the listeners if it would help. I wasn't expecting to today, but I can't stop looking yeah. at it in this w- would, would you Would you mind it? Do it. I'm, we're up for it. I love it. Let's do it. And it probably tells its own story. And it's a poem I wrote called If. And I wrote it at 3 a.m. in the morning as I pulled into a motorway service station thinking that <laughs> if I didn't, I'm probably going to like crash into a central reservation. And it reads as this. If life could be easier, I would be more of what I want. Enjoy all the things I love and none of what I don't. If the economy was better, more cash would come my way. My accounts would look better and the pain would go away. If Lady Luck would visit, good fortune shine on me. I could get what I deserve and be all I can be. If is just a question, the blame pointed elsewhere. Excuses and denial. In fact, it's just not fair. If I am to be successful and have the all I, all I desire, at first I simply look inside, pour fuel upon the fire. If I believe in myself, be what I need to be. If someone else can do it, can someone else be me? If I'm prepared to take the action, climb mountains on the way, follow through, don't give up, let nothing get in my way. If success is what I'm after, I must take responsibility. Everything that happens is accountable to me. I can have what I want, live everything I dream, feel happy and contented, be the cat that got the cream. If everything was easy, just handed on a plate, would success be worth it? Would life be so great? If life is but a journey, I will plan it carefully. Live for every moment. Be what I can be. If I just stay focused, each day commit and do, great things will start to happen. They're happening to you. If it's really worth it, what difference could I make? Stand up and just be counted. Be more and don't be fake. If it's just a question, success is by design. I know what I'm doing. Things will be just fine. If I take control, target on the result. Success will come my way. Success is all my fault. You've been listening to Thrive Loud with your host, Lou Diamond. Make sure to subscribe on iTunes, Overcast, or wherever you get your podcasts. And follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram at Thrive Loud. Or find us on the web at thriveloud.com.